Don't be a moron, Greenlee. Ever since you've become Bianca's sexuality coach, you totally lost your sense of humor. Unbelievable. Gramps shakes his head just like that. What'd I do now? How could you be so clueless? It's a gift. So, <clears throat> what's your lesbiette's crisis du jour? Is the five and dime out of plaid shirts and comfortable shoes? Would you stop it? Bianca is not your punchline. When did you become so sensitive? Not everybody's like you, Greenlee. Not everybody knows who they are or what they want. I want you. Soon. Doesn't happy need to be walked? Are you trying to get rid of me? I've got other things on my mind. So do I. Slow this joint. I'll show you. But is it so impossible for you to have a little bit of compassion for anybody else? For a spoiled little rich girl who cries on your shoulder every chance she gets? Now, who are we, who are we talking about now? You? Me? Of course not. Do you ever listen to yourself? Okay. I apologize. Sometimes I forget that I've turned over a new leaf. Why is Bianca so upset? You wouldn't understand. Try me. I didn't spill her secret to Erica. You can trust me. She's in a twist about whether or not she's gay. Or if it's just a phase. Something like that, yeah. And she wants you to set her straight. No pun intended, I swear. God, I blew it. I blew it. I blew it. You know, I... I didn't know what to say. So I said all the wrong things. I gotta go before she does something stupid. What kind of crisis could a girl who likes girls have? Leo! Liza, Ilsa's lawyer is an idiot because he's paid to be an idiot. That's why you got to submit the offer directly to her. I'm telling you, she's waiting by the phone for it right now. I don't want to argue. Just do it, okay? And promise me something. Promise me that you'll, you'll contact me just as soon as she contacts you. Please. Okay. I got to go. Baby, come here. Would it be too much of a cliche if I said I'm really sorry about that? Oh, honey, it's okay. It's so okay. No, no, it's not. It's really not. I mean, I, I can see that you're upset. You know, so much for love in the afternoon, huh? But you know what? If you let me, I'll make it up to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ted, no, no. It's okay, really. I I, I should change. I, I feel silly wearing this whole thing. No, 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 no. You don't look silly at all. Believe me. Oh, Ted. Sweetie, what is it? What, what's going on? What, what's got you so upset? Picture? Oh, a broken picture, that's it. That's what's got you so going like this. I, honey, it's nothing. Seriously, tomorrow I'll buy you five new ones. Problem solved, huh? Hey, look at this. Are we a handsome couple? Hmm? Maybe I should get the video camera. What do you think? It's not that picture. All right, well, then, uh, then just, uh, lay on me. Well, I think it goes something like this. I think you tell me what's ever on your mind, and then uh, I get to take a peek at what's under the negligee. Got a deal? Hmm? All right, all right, listen, just do me a favor, sweetheart. Just you mark that spot, okay? Because then I come right back. I gotta kill whoever this is. What? Oh, uh, no, 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 Liza, I'm sorry. No, not you. I just, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of in, in the middle of something. She doesn't want that. That's completely unacceptable. Just, no, hang on a second. Don't do anything. Sweetheart, sweetie, listen, I'm sorry. I really apologize. But if you give me five minutes, I give you my word of honor. For the rest of the afternoon, it's just going to be me, you, and that negligee. Okay? All right? Okay. <laughs> All right, what is she... <clears throat> no, just just tell me what you... Do you, you, uh, you need some water? <laughs> Can I get you some water? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, Thanks, I'll be sweet. right back. No, I'm fine. I just got something stuck in my okay. throat. Thanks, okay, Thanks, darling. Hey, Liza, can we solve this, please? I got some, uh, I got some big plans for my afternoon. Did you get lucky? Did the libido zone work? That's none of your concern. We're partners. You're an employee. You can be replaced. You know, uh... 
I wouldn't mind trying a dose or two myself. I, I, I could use some help with the ladies and the side effects. Trust me, Gordon. This is no substitute for your love life. It's a legitimate medical trial. Well, if it works, we'll be rich. Money will be the only love drug I'll need. Yeah. Well, hold that thought, all right? Just get back to the lab and get me back those test results ASAP. You got it. Maybe you should lie down. You don't look so hot. Drug effects continue nearly 18 hours after I ingested a double dose. The symptoms are rapid breathing and pulse, dizziness. The psychoactive symptoms are also evident. I continue to struggle maintaining self-control. And I blew it. Damn it. If the libido zone had been in full effect when I was with Dixie, heaven knows what would have happened. But God knows. What Tad's gonna do when he gets his dose, he's gonna be totally out of control. No one's gonna be able to stop him. I know what you're doing. Get out. You are going to leave Dixie Martin alone, starting now.